It begins with Matt Crafton and Chase Briscoe. The Dirt Derby underway at Eldora. There's that six wide you were talking about, <laughs> It didn't Mike. take long either, did it? I promise I wasn't overselling it. <laughs> we're probably going to see more than that. As you can tell, some guys like that very bottom lane, as you saw Kyle Strickler down there, and then our leader, Chase Briscoe, right out next to the wall. Another guy that's not a lot of dirt experience. And Chase Briscoe wins stage one here at Eldora. You've been watching it during the commercial break. Harrison Burton in the 18. Went around over in turn two, just off the exit of turn two. Was running eighth at the time. That looked kind of strange, didn't it? Just yeah. stepped out really late. Usually at that point, you're down the straightaway, all right. But fortunately for Harrison, as he got it cranked up for now and then. Oh, a round big collection. Boy, Harrison Burton, I think, got slowed down and slid right through that. He was on the high side. You can see there's most of our addition. They get collected in a hurry on the dirt. Christian Eckes around and several others involved. Coming back to Eldora after this. Trying to challenge, but to no avail as Briscoe wins stage two. Great points day for Creason and Crafton. Second, third here in the second stage. Gilliland shooting to the bottom. Marler three wide up the middle on the back straightaway. Chastain struggled a little bit on that restart. Marler's going to get by him. Now Chastain's going to fight back, trying to get back underneath him. That's Marler in the black truck, middle of your screen. It's a great job by Gilliland on that restart. He went to the bottom and then was able to come up to the top in front of the others, and he went to second. Oh. And around goes Chastain. Right in front of most of the field. That was... Let's see what happens to Chase in the middle of the screen there. They were four wide as they got to him. Shipley did a great job in that blue 80 truck getting by. And Briscoe there alongside Sauter making the pass for position. And Strickler has gone around. Oh, and Briscoe and Sauter are involved, still trying to keep it rolling the right direction. The caution obviously is out. Oh, Creed stretch. running the wall, and the Strickler just went around. Well, Sauter hadn't wrecked yet, so there's more action yeah. there. Let's watch the green truck in the middle. That's Johnny Sauter. Side by side, that's, that's Chase Briscoe, Briscoe, right Briscoe on the inside. So there's Strickler going around, but doesn't make any contact with Sauter. But we're just going to keep it. Uh, well, we lose the sight of Sauter as he goes out of the picture there. But he looks like he was getting sideways as he left turn two. Jennifer like Joe Cobb getting spun around. OK, so about half the field was involved well, in separate incidents on one lap. Yeah, Dodson. There you see the Sauter trouble. Yeah, Tyler Dippel, the 0-2, was around right in front of Johnny. And then you see Chase Briscoe trying to get through there as well. And that, that did what... That Green is waving two to go in the Dirt Derby at Eldora. Friesen got a good launch. Creed chasing him. He'll slip into the second spot. Infinger into third. Look at that wide back there, about fourth and fifth on back. Creed cleanly through three and four. One lap remaining. Stuart Friesen, one to go. Infinger slips into third, but it's going to be a chase for Stuart Friesen. If he can navigate this into the track mistake free, he will finally do it. The wait is over for Stuart Friesen. He has won at Eldora. That has to feel like the most relief that young man has ever felt in his whole life. So close, so many times, and such a gamble he took. He put the ball in his court. He said, I'm going to win this race if I stay out. And that's what he did. You can see the relief in the body language. Tyler Dipple and Ben Rhodes expressing their displeasure with one another. 
Well, here he is. We said six times he's been runner-up in this series. Finally, he gets career victory number one, and he does it on the dirt at Eldora. Stuart, we've watched this team all year, or for the last couple of years for that matter, run so well, be so close. But to get this first one at this racetrack with everything that was on the line, does that make up for all the ups and downs and hardships that this team has had the last couple of years? Absolutely. Uh, oh, man. Thank you to all the race fans that stuck with us, that kept pulling for us. Everybody that came to the Dirt Modified Holler and said, man, I thought this was the week. Today, this is the day, and today, is, this is the week. Ha <laughs> ha, all right, Pete. Son Parker. Yeah, just thanks to everybody. Thanks to all these great race fans. Uh, this is meant to be. <laughs> we needed to get it done on the dirt. We missed the last two years. Um, what, a, what a special event. And Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know what to say. Just thanks to everybody. Thanks to Helmar, Chevrolet, uh, GMS Fab Shop for working their butts off here the last couple weeks. And uh, we appreciate it all. We appreciate all these guys. Man, these guys have been down and out, down and out. And they keep busting their butts for me and working on stuff and fixing stuff and putting in so much long hours. And... I can't thank everybody enough. There was a lot of conversation between you and Tripp, who's right behind you, about what to do at the end of that second stage to put yourself, everybody's happy. Go ahead, Parker, show them. You ultimately made the call to stay on the racetrack, put it in your hands. Were you concerned about tires or fuel, or was being able to control the restarts the deciding factor for you? Yeah, just getting clean restarts. I knew that was going to be that was going to be tough. Um, you know, we just couldn't get a long run going, and, you know, we, we – those first two stages, we never really got a long run, and I'm like, well, we couldn't be too hard on the tires. We weren't using a lot of fuel. We got pretty slick, and uh, Triff left, up, left it up to me, and the driver always wants track position, so we took it and, uh, and held him off. That's Stuart Friesen. He's victorious at Eldor. Alan?